Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we're going to continue with our lessons on area and perimeter, but we're going to move on to slightly more complicated examples where we get given uh, slightly different information or missing information that we need to figure out, as well as uh, shapes that are combinations of rectangles so that we can solve real world world problems uh, more effectively because in the real world we often don't just get things in regular rectangles they usually are combinations of rectangles so in our first example we get to deal with a rectangle where we are given the area and the length of one side and we'll discuss how you find out the length of a missing side so if we look at this rectangle and we say that the area is 84 units and the length is 12 units it means that we have a missing value for one of the legs of this rectangle for the width of this rectangle now the way that we would solve this is we would say that well we know that the area of the rectangle is the total space taken up inside and we already know that that's 84 and we also know that we will have 12 groups of whatever our missing value is so I know that 12 groups of our missing value is equal to 84 and all I need to do to figure out what that missing value is is find out what times 12 is gonna give me 84 and that's actually really really easy to figure out because all we need to do is divide 84 by 12 and that will give us what the missing value is because 84 divided into 12 groups will tell us how many groups we had so 84 divided by 12 we know is equal to 7 7 okay so this is how we would solve for a missing value uh, when we get given the area and either the length or the width now that's just the beginning of what we're going to be doing this lesson uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is an example like this so in this picture we've got uh, an odd shape but the trick with things like this is that we need to learn how to break these shapes up and how to solve them so we are going to first find the perimeter of this shape and then we are going to find the area so in order to find the perimeter we'll say that P is equal to all of these sides added together so if we under uh, if we count them up this is three centimeters this side is 12 centimeters this side is nine centimeters this side is five centimeters but we can't just stop there because those are the values that we know I still have these two sides this one here and this one here that I need to add in order to make the perimeter but I don't have values for those so we are gonna have to come up with a way in order to find those values now it's actually a lot like putting a puzzle together all right and we have to use the properties that we know of rectangles uh, in order to help us solve them so when we have a rectangle we always know that the opposite sides are equal lengths so 
if this side over here is nine centimeters and I'll redraw that line there that means that if I extended this line here this would be nine centimeters altogether which means that this here and this here added together must be nine and I know that this is three and I have a missing value over here so actually all I need to say is nine minus three is going to give me this amount here which actually lines up with this missing wall so nine minus three is six which means that I know that this missing value here is six centimeters okay so I found that missing leg and if I want to find this one over here I know that it's going to be this amount plus five centimeters from over here so this is five centimeters over here um, is going to be equal to 12 so my missing value plus five will equal 12 what's my missing value well what plus five is going to give me 12 seven plus five will equal 12 so that means that my other missing value is going to be seven and now i've filled in all of the missing information so i can solve the rest of the equation so i add another six and i add another seven and that will give me my perimeter so three plus twelve is fifteen nine plus five is fourteen and six plus seven is thirteen fifteen plus fourteen is nineteen and nineteen plus thirteen is thirty two so my perimeter is equal to 32 centimeters okay so in order to find the area of this shape we're gonna have to break it up into triangles that we can actually manage all right so I'm gonna start just by writing in the missing values that we found earlier we knew that this length was here this length here was six centimeters and this bit here was seven centimeters so we need to break this up into rectangles and it's quite easy to see that if you just extend this line over here I could say that this purple area here is one rectangle and this blue area here is another rectangle now if I were to calculate each of these areas and add them together it would give me the area of the whole shape so I'm gonna say that for the purple the area is equal to 9 times 5 centimeters and for the blue the area is 3 times 7 centimeters 9 times 5 is equal to 45 and 3 times 7 is equal to 21 if I add both of these together 45 plus 21 is equal to 66 all right and I want you to remember that the area for this we figured out is 66 because we're going to try and do this a different way now and see how that goes so if I erase all of this and 
I, I can write these in again. This was six and this was seven. Now, if I were to do this again, previously I split this over here and this was one and this was another rectangle. Now, can you see a different way that we could break this up? Well, I could also have cut it along here. And uh, let's just write in 66. That's going to be the area that we want to remember from earlier. So if I split it along there, that would mean that this is one rectangle and this is another rectangle. Now, they're two different rectangles. They've got two different sets of dimensions. But I reckon that if we solved for each of those rectangles and added them together, we'd probably come up with the same answer. So for the purple rectangle, that is 12 centimeters long by 3 centimeters wide. So the area of that one is going to be 3 times 12. And that is going to be equal to 36. And for the blue one, it is 5 meters by 6 meters. So the area of that one is going to be equal to 5 times 6, which is 30. If I add those two together, 30 plus 36 is equal to 66. You see that it gives us the same answer. We've managed to break up this rectangle completely differently and come up with our own new solution. Now, there's one last way that I want to show you that you could figure this out. Um, and we'll just see how that looks. And keep in mind, again, that the area that we've calculated twice now is 66. So another option would be to extend this rectangle. And this would now make one large rectangle that is 12 centimeters by 9 centimeters and we would cut out a rectangle from that which means we take that out of our total area and because we found our missing values we know that this is 7 and this is 6 so the area of the rectangle that I'm taking away would be 7 by 6 so let's start by calculating the area of our big rectangle and that's going to be 12 times 9 12 times 9 is equal to well 9 times 10 is equal to 90 and 2 times 9 is equal to 18 so 12 times 9 must be 90 plus 18 so that's going to be 108 centimeters squared and for our purple box which we're taking away from our pink box that's going to be equal to seven centimeters times by six centimeters seven times six is equal to 42 square centimeters so i have now 108 square centimeters for my whole big rectangle and I'm taking 42 centimeters out of 108 so to, in order to find the area of my original space it would be 108 minus 42 108 minus 42 is equal to 66 square centimeters which is exactly the same as we had calculated earlier. So there are actually three different ways and I, I'm sure that you could probably find some more to solve a problem like this. But it's completely up to you how you want to break it up and which uh, rectangles that you would like to use in order to find the answer. Okay, so let's try another example. So for this one, I'm only going to do uh, 
one way and you can figure out a different way on a separate piece of paper by yourself a bit later and to start with we are going to find the perimeter Perim perimeter is equal to let's count these sides this one here is 12 plus 4 we don't know that value we don't know that value plus 20 plus 16 and that means that I've covered that and I've covered that and I still need to figure out what this amount here is and I need to figure out what this amount here is now my orange is going to be equal to 20 minus 12 because this value here is 12 so I know that 20 minus 12 is going to be equal to 8 so this over here is 8 centimeters all right and for my missing my last missing piece i know that it's going to be equal to 16 minus 4 is going to give me this length here 16 minus 4 is equal to 12. so now i have my two missing values okay and now all i need to do is add them to the rest of my perimeter calculation so i had 12 plus 4 plus 20 plus 16 i now need to add 8 and 12. 12 plus 4 is 16 20 plus 16 is 36 and 8 plus 12 is 20. 16 plus 36 is equal to 52 plus 20 is equal to 72. Now I'm working through this quite quickly so I might be wrong so please double check my calculations and let me know if I'm right or wrong but the next thing we got to do is find our area and because I don't have a straight rectangle here I'm gonna to have to break it up into rectangles that I can deal with and I think I like the shape of this nice big one and I'm going to make that my purple uh, rectangle and I'm going to make the small one my blue rectangle. Now I need to look at the length and width of my purple rectangle first so that's going to be this by this which is going to be 12 by 16 so the area of my purple rectangle is 12 times 16 and the area of my blue rectangle is going to be equal to 8 centimeters by 12 centimeters so the area is equal to 8 times 12 now 12 times 16 I can solve in my head I know that 10 times 16 is 160 and I know that 2 times 60 is 32 so that's going to be 192 square centimeters and 8 times 12 I think we did earlier maybe not 8 times 12 8 times 10 is 80 8 times 2 is 16 so that's going to be equal to 96 square centimeters okay and all I need to do now to find my total area uh, for the whole of both of those shapes is add those two together so I get 192 plus 96 2 plus 6 is 8 9 plus 9 is 18 uh, and 1 plus 1 is 2 288 square centimeters all right now we could have broken this uh, 
this up completely differently. I could have made one rectangle over here in pink and I could have made this my other rectangle here in orange and I could have calculated like that. I could also have found what the shape of my whole rectangle would have been and then just cut out whatever that amount was. Um, you guys can solve problems like this whatever way you want, um, but you need to make sure that you are following all your steps very carefully and that you are making sure that you find your missing values accurately. Um, we are going to be doing more uh, word problems with these and I think your assignment today uh, or maybe in the future could be on uh, coming up with uh, a room that you might need to furnish or carpet or paint and you might need to find the area of the floor and the walls and whatever else and I tell me how much paint or carpeting that we might need in order to fill that room it might make a nice little uh, project for you to do and if you know how to do this you will be able to even help your parents maybe if they were deciding to redecorate a room you might be able to find the the amount of paint they should buy or the amount of carpet that they should buy um, either way uh, thank you so much for listening to this lesson and uh, watching this video I, I hope you guys uh, have a really good understanding of this. I, I think we're going to do a lot of word problems on, on questions like this. So good luck and I'll see you next week. Have a good day. Bye.